In this video, I challenge myself to make a hundred random ideas in LEGO. The problem is that I only have 10 minutes to show them all, so let's go. So we only got 10 minutes to talk about 100 different things, so we got no time to waste, people. Okay, so starting with idea number one, this is a simple impossible triangle that I used bricks and plates to make. If you step back far enough and look at a certain angle, it looks like it's all one big Lego piece. So this next idea is a life-size lock with a minifig scale key. I think these macaroni pieces work really well. And here's an expensive gaming setup with a chair, PC tower, and a desk with a computer, keyboard, and a mouse. It's a super colorful looking setup as well. Here's a super thick, delicious burger. It's got a tomato, slice of cheese, some lettuce, and a patty. And here's an illegal building technique where you can take a textured circular brick and put it in the middle of a bunch of studs. If you try this trick, you might have the ops on you. So here are some FBI minifigures to go with it. You're welcome. Here's a brick built wood pencil. It looks just like the ones that you use in school. It even has an eraser on the end. This next idea is a skateboard ramp for all my skater bros. You can do some pretty cool tricks on this thing. And here's a custom jetpack you can put on the back of a minifigure. It's even got adjustable little rock it's on the back. My favorite arcade game would probably have to be the driving simulation one, so I recreated that arcade game right here. And here's a small top that can keep you entertained. You can spin it and let that thing whip. And here's a singular cactus that would probably look good in a Wild West build. I love street food, so this is a New York style hot dog stand. And here's a cool trick where you can dislocate the leg pieces from a minifig and then reposition it in this interesting crouching position. Guy looks really depressed. And here's a brick built penguin. To be specific, I think this is an emperor penguin. Penguin. For all my gym bros, here's a dumbbell rack. To make the actual dumbbells, I use the wheels on a skateboard. Just a nice little touch. Here's a cool hot tub that makes a 6x6 six six space. Just a nice place to relax and chill. You can actually make a cool looking ball using these weird inverted circle pieces, a bunch of flowers, and these modified bricks with studs on each side. And here's a larger ball I made using the same modified bricks, but using a lot of plates. And I made it look like a small version of the earth. And this next idea is a micro scale steam locomotive, and I used these delicious looking ice cream pieces for the smoke. Yes sir, eat that ice cream. Here's a smooth curvy couch you can sit a minifig down on. I used half cylinder pieces to make the arm rest. Here's a quad bike with some lights on the front, a flag on the back, and a seat for one passenger. And this is a custom foldable pizza box you can make using some hinge pieces. Here's a micro scale house with a large driveway, a tree on the side, and a flagpole. Going back to some old trends, here's a cool looking hoverboard you can have a minifigure stand on top of. And here's a PlayStation 5. The shaping of the real thing is really odd, so I just made a small, simple version right here. Here's a small catapult using some Technic pieces, and you can actually shoot a cylinder brick with this thing. And here's Dory. I had to put Dory in this video because it's been a while. Here's a cartoony looking sheep with some big eyes, and to make it look fluffy, I added some white plates around it. Here's a drum set. I got a lot of colors, so it's like something you could bring to a hype concert. And here's a SoundCloud rapper making a music video. You can tell it's pretty low budget. This next idea is a small kayak, but I recently discovered it can also be used as a stand-up paddleboard. Here's an easy way you can make a tank in Lego. It only requires three pieces, including this minifig hand for the gun up on top. And here's how to make a boat of wood. Uh. And here's a go-kart with a giant exhaust on the back. It almost gives me Mario Kart vibes, but that was unintentional. And similar to a go-kart, here's a lawnmower. You can actually put eyeballs on brick separators, so I think it's just like a funny little touch that you can do. You can also make a cool looking cube with studs on all sides, and you only need three of these modified bricks. And here's Sacred Bricks' YouTube channel. Just kidding, I would never do my boy like that. Here's a tiny futuristic robot that's a little shorter than a minifigure. One of those bots you can kind of treat like Alexa and have it do chores for you. This is a very modern bed design. It's got a wood frame, two bed tables on each end, and some lighting. This is a dog house. Kind of looks like Snoopy's from Charlie Brown, but with owning a dog comes a lot of poop. You can make a soda can in Lego by taking a cylinder brick and slapping a flat stud on top. Green looks like Mountain Dew, red looks like Coca-Cola, and blue looks like Pepsi, but that's all opinion. And here's a washing machine plus a dryer all combined in one. This right here is a DJ table. It's got loads of buttons and it's got two records. And to go with it, here are some large studio speakers so that people can hear that fire music. This is a small minifig scale blender and I used some studs inside as fruit. Here's a minifig scale drone and I did use handcuff pieces to make the little rotors. I recently discovered this, but you can actually use this flimsy rubber piece as an eraser. Not sure why I ever would, but it's just a random fact. Okay, so now that we're 
we're halfway done with the video, let's take some time for a quick speed run. I went to Instagram and I asked y'all what I should make, and these are 20 random ideas that you recommended. Someone recommended making something Marvel related, so here's a small scale Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet from Avengers Endgame. I use transparent pieces for the stones. Rip Iron Man. Since I'm talking about Marvel, here's also a custom Dr. Octopus minifigure. I made this a few videos back and it even has some custom robotic tentacles that I use these Technic pieces for. Make a Lego backpack. Well, here's a simple one you can put on a minifigure. It's even got a walkie-talkie attached to it. This is a pretty sus request, but someone wanted me to make an Among Us character, so here you go. And while I'm ready at it, fun little fact, this Lego piece right here looks just like an Among Us character. Super coincidental. Someone recommended making Lego guns, so here's a custom-built rocket launcher. And here's also a minigun. Both can be held by minifigures, but tell me which one you like more. Here's a small kitchen in a 2x6 space. It's got a small refrigerator, a sink, and an oven with a stove top. My boy Brandon suggested building a Lego- Someone told me to make myself in Legoland mini land scale. I've actually never made a Legoland scale character before, so here's the most accurate version of me I guess I can make. I've got no face. This was a really cool but challenging suggestion, but I love challenges. Here's an iPhone. It's got eight applications, but the only issue is that it's stuck on the screen. And I called tech support. They can't do anything about it. And to go with the iPhone, someone recommended that I make some AirPods. So here's some really simple ones. Someone suggested making a pair of usable sunglasses. So this was my best attempt. They do fit on my face, but the pieces poke my nose like crazy. I don't recommend it. A little cheesy, to be honest. And here's a smart car which can fit a singular passenger. Someone said to make a Lego brick, so here's a giant Lego brick made out of Lego bricks. Wow. And someone also suggested making a puzzle. So here's an easy version you can make with some plates and tiles. Make something from Fortnite. Well, here's a miniature scale battle bus. It's even got the balloon on top. And speaking of buses, I know some of you probably don't play Fortnite or don't give two craps about the game. So here's a regular bus for those curious. Make a Mr. Beast video. Um, very interesting request, but here's the best I can do. Um, last person to take their hand off the treasure chest keeps the gold. Someone wanted me to make chicken nuggets. So since I love chicken nuggets, Nuggets. Here's some brick built ones and this guy apparently wants to be in the video. So uh, here you go my guy I'm feeling nice today. Also a lot of you asked me to make my mom So you know what? I'm gonna turn this the other way around because this next idea is yo mom Ooh. Oh, feel that burn. And this is a tiny bunny that only uses three pieces to make. Okay, I really like this design. It's a super iced out watch that's got that extra drip. If you're a rapper, this is what you need to flex. There's gold digits to tell the time, and it also has Lego money on the wristband just to really flex how much cash you got. And who makes a lot of money? LeBron James. So I gave him a basketball hoop so he can shoot his shots. And this is a really small scale book. Here's a modern fireplace that would look great in a modern house. I have some firewood to go with it. This next idea is an outdoor swing connected by some rope so you can really play around with this thing. In Lego, Woody is way taller than Buzz for some reason so just to keep Buzz more confident about his height, you can give him a big head. Here's a brick built bird. It's like a crane. And here's a mini fig scale tripod that you can put a camera on top of. And I'm editing this video on a Mac right now so here's a brick built Mac. It's also got a keyboard and mouse to go with it. Here's how you make a glass bottle. Take one stud, one transparent cone brick, and one flat stud then connect them all together. And here's a bird box which is also on a tall pole. I also made a ladder. It's got some struts as well as some painting supplies on the top. And here's a mini fig scale toy plane where I used some canoe paddles to make the propellers. This one is a very aesthetic Japanese blossom tree. This would look really good in an oriental themed build. And this is a refrigerator. Not any ordinary refrigerator because this one actually has a screen on it so that you can watch your favorite TV show as you're cooking. And here's another couch design. This one's slightly different though because it actually reclines so you can turn this into a bed. Okay, so earlier I showed an iPhone, but I want to go back 20 years, so here's an old school flip phone. It's got a bunch of buttons on it and tons of storage space just to hold all those girls' numbers you're gonna get from having this phone. Absolutely disgusting. And here's a toilet, but to make things go downhill, I put some purple 1980s carpet underneath it. So for all my guys, you don't want to miss the seat. This is a minifig scale jet ski that can fit one passenger. Just a cool little water sport vehicle. And here's a chainsaw. This is a punching dummy for boxing. I used a blank torso and minifig headpiece for this. And here's a Karen that probably didn't get her two pumps of vanilla. Careful though, she might report you to her 13 Facebook followers. And here's a rug design I made using an illegal sideways building technique. And it uses some cheese slopes for extra texture. And here's how to make a basic clock design. This is a worm in Lego. Just take some one by two plates and studs and connect them together in this pattern and uh, boom. 
you have a very flimsy little worm. And here's how you can make some basic nunchucks. Take some bar pieces and connect them together by a short chain. This is a really basic idea, but you can actually use a mini fig hand to uh, grab onto an Apple iPhone charger. Not sure if this will ever be useful, but just a random fact. Here's an Oreo cookie. And lastly, for our 100th idea, I want to save this one last because I actually had to order pieces and wait a long time just so I could put this together. But here's an icy gold chain with a shiny gold Lego brick on it. This is the ultimate flex, people. You literally have money dancing on your neck. And it looks like we finished just on time, people. Mm. Comment down below what your favorite ideas were. 15,000 likes, and I'll do a part two. This was a fun video to make, so I hope y'all enjoyed. Stay spicy.